Hi guys, uh, unboxing time. So this just arrived all the way from Toulouse. Let's check it out. That's in France for people that uh, don't know. Okay. A box in a box. Let's check it out. So this is from Gabrielle and Zorg Effects in Toulouse in France. Um, we actually contacted him um, because of one of the pedals that's in here, which we want to use for um, for a uh, um, video series we're going to do uh, ooh, with Zorg effects. Okay, very cool. Stickers, more stickers. And then it looks like that. So we've got, I should show the stickers too. Zorgify your sound. I like that. That sounds like something I would say. Zorgify your sound. And there's a few of these stickers. Oh. You can download something from records as well. There's a record thing. And, uh, ooh. PizzaCult.com. Look at that. Okay. Um, but what we're here for is these things. So, big thank you to Gabrielle again. So we contact, contacted him about this pedal, the Blow. Now, the Blow is basically a pedal that has um, XLA in and out uh, on one side, and then you have quarter inch in and out on the other side you plug a microphone in and it goes to wherever your microphone goes to and then you have basically an effects loop um, for um, pedals so you can run effects pedals uh, into or you can can run your vocal microphone through guitar pedals with ease with an on and off switch so that's very cool um, and yeah, the, our idea was we want to do a, a series of videos um, where we're going to get sax players uh, or a sax player and vocalist probably and put it on mics with drummers and stuff and um, have it so you can actually hear things and you can they can physically manipulate effects themselves uh, as opposed to having to do it on a computer or having to uh, in post when you record something in post that you can add effects to it. Um, using it to actually work with the effects and using it live also with um, some people like sax players. So that's the blow. And then we also have the small bass star. Focus. Now, now it's a focus. So, uh, which both of them look really cool. It has that, these sort of wooden bits on top and um, different color knobs and stuff. I really like it. Um, now, the small bass star, I believe, is a, um, more geared towards bass distortion drive. Uh, there's going to be a bigger one called the Glorious Bass Star coming out sooner, sooner or later too, I believe, possibly. But um, not a, a version two of it anyway. I think that it already exists, but a version two of it anyway. Uh, so make sure you check out Zorg Pedals, uh, all the details below. What I might do is I might plug him in and do a quick sort of first impression thing. So stay tuned. All right, and we're back and we've got the small bass star now on guitar. I just run it on guitar just for the first impression thing, but we'll do a proper video on guitar and on bass and possibly on some synths as well. Uh, coming up shortly, so. Uh, Jazzmaster into the Zorg small bass star into the Marshall Origin 50 into the two notes torpedo with a Rev 4x12 open back cabinet and clean it sounds actually. <laughs> okay, so this is just with the knobs the way it came.
So I guess that's a switch that emphasizes it's it's H, L, and M. I guess it emphasizes highs, mids, and lows. <laughs> That's the... Oh, that's a mix. Oh. Cause it's meant for bass, so you can mix in the clean signal. Uh, I think it's cool. So it's, I mean, it's more tailored for a bass guitar than an electric guitar, but um, it's... So you basically have a mix where you can blend in clean signal, which on a bass you want to, to retain the bottom end. You've got a vo uh, gain, volume, and tone. And the tone is kind of like a, um, a, a, a low-pass filter. So the more you turn it up, it kind of gets rid of the highs and gets more bottom end. Something along those lines. Or maybe, oh, maybe you select. I've got to check it out a bit more. This is literally first time plugged in. It sounds cool though. It's quite, you know, fat. Uh, but like I said, mainly for bass. So uh, that's a small bass star. It's all in my name, bass star. So uh, let's plug in the blow back right after this. And I'm back. So uh, now I've got the Zorg blow sitting here in front of me. And just because it was sitting right here, uh, and it's also from France, the Anasound Utopia, which is a killer sounding delay <coughs> right next to it. Um, so representing France. So the Zorg should mention they're really high quality uh, plugs for the, the XLR plugs. So you, you've got an in and an out XLR plug. I've got um, an old, very beaten up, very used at a lot of gigs for lots of different situations. Show SM58 going into here, out of here and straight into Logic. Uh, and then here you've got the effects loop. You've got a send and a return. Uh, and you can send that, that goes to send, goes into the Utopia, and the return goes back into here. So now, if I talk into this, one, two, one, two, hopefully it's not distorting too much. I have to keep it really quiet, because uh, I've got the speakers here, so I don't get feedback, but I can sort of hear it, that it kind of works. <clears throat> you have um, the gain control in here, which if you turn it up, it gets more distorted and louder. You can distort the voice, and it clips. So that was very loud, <laughs> probably sorry if that was really loud. Or you can turn it all the way down and then that microphone and here works again. So uh, we'll set it somewhere in the middle so it sort of roughly works. So you set it to where you want it to be, I suppose. Uh, and then you turn it on and then the effects loop is engaged. And now if I turn that on, which is a delay. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, 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 and what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, for a series of videos we're going to do for uh, uh, the first one we've got already lined up, which is going to happen rather soon, 
is with a good friend of ours who's a fantastic sax player who wants to get more into using effects while he's performing live. And a pedal like that is may, may just be exactly what he's after. Uh, but we're going to do a whole bunch of videos with singers, with all different types of instruments. Uh, we want to do it with a drummer as well, where you can have uh, just live acoustic drums or live vocals or any instrument. You have a microphone and you have control. The, the people, the, the performers have their control in front of them. They can change effects. They can do whatever they want. It's not presets on mixers, digital mixers. It's not a preset on uh, some recording software or some sort of software where you have to go through a computer. It's actual physical. It's pedals where you have knobs and can do things. And our idea is we want to look at how it how people approach performing. But, I mean, that's a whole, you know, how, how would a vocalist approach singing if they can, if they want to? Manipulate their voice in real time. Just like this. With any pedal. Just like this. Um, so that's the idea behind all this. Is to try and um, get the artists whether they're singers, whether they're sax players, whether they're acoustic guitar players, anything that has a microphone really, want to try and um, use this in a whole series. Anyway, more of that later. But that's the Zorg um, Blow and the Zorg Small Bass Star. Very cool looking pedals. Um, very excited about both actually, but very excited to get into the series with the Zorg, with the Blow. Um, uh, it seems really well built. The knob is great too actually. Uh, soft switch as well which is great so stay tuned for more videos big thank you to gabriel um at zorg effects in toulouse in france um oh and big thank you actually also to uh, ronan ronan marie for um he is the one sorry for pronouncing the name wrong but he's the one who actually um sent us a link to zorg so we we didn't even really know about zorg before he sent us a link so big thank you to ronan big thank you to gabriel stay tuned for more videos See you soon. Bye.